Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Miller's Mad Creations and this video is going to show you how to import your OneNote planner. First thing you want to do is access your link that is going to be underneath the link to this video that you would have got after your purchase. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that you're signed into your OneDrive and you're going to find where you opened up that planner and it's going to be copied to a new notebook, Rainbow Delight Planner. You want to make sure that it's showing up in your OneDrive file. So after you have it in your OneDrive file, you are going to be able to go in either on the app online if you want, or you can open up your app. So we're going to go open up our app. And this works similar um, whether you're on the iPad or you're on a Surface. It kind of works the same way. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to bring in your notebook. So we're going to hit more notebooks and you're going to see that your copy of your planner is going to be right here. So we're going to click on it and it is going to open up the notebook. Now depending on your speed and your app, sometimes for the iPad it takes a while for my stuff to sync. Um, it might work a lot faster for you or if you're on a Surface Pro or something like that it might work a lot better but we're going to make sure that we bring everything in from this notebook and as you can see it is bringing in all the pages it's going to sit here and keep syncing and loading the notebook and if you notice at the top you will see it says that this notebook is read only and that is because you're actually going to make a copy of this that way that you can use it and be able to mark it up and do whatever you need to do with it if you look up here at the top right you'll see the little dial going and it means that it's syncing so you want to make sure that you sit there and let it do that again it could take a few minutes or it could take a couple hours it just kind of depends um, this seems to be moving pretty good right now so you want to click on the actual section the notebook over here on the left recent notes kind of has it all out of order so make sure that you're actually clicking on the actual planner so it looks like everything seems to be in the months section have the most things in here so we're just going to kind of make sure they're all in here so it's going to take a little bit of time for it to load and once it does you're going to come over here to the bottom left corner and you're going to tap on new notebook and you're going to name it whatever you want to give it whatever color you want and then we're going to hit create. You can call this your duplicate whatever you want to do. Um, we're going to delete this section because we don't need it so you long press and then hit the delete the little trash can and then now you'll see that I have new notebook and then my original. So we're actually going to click on the original one and we are going to tap and long press on the section and you can select all of them at one time and then we're going to hit this little um, icon down here and we're going to copy and we're going to select our new notebook and then it will start copying everything over into the new notebook so again if you look up at the top right you'll see that it is syncing. Give it a little bit of time to do that. Okay, as you can see, we have a few sections already copied. And once everything is copied over, you can come in and actually use it and draw and do the things that you need to do. So again, give it a little bit of time to move everything over. And once everything is moved over, then you can come in and use it however you need to. So that's how easy it is to import and copy your OneNote planner. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to contact me. I hope this helps and you guys have a great day.